all right people welcome back to another video all right guys so today i'm just going to show you guys how to optimize steam for better gameplay smoother gameplay just to optimize it because they have a ton of bloatware on it that might hinder your performance while playing your games and there's certain stuff you don't need while you're playing and if you're not using these stuff you could turn them off and on so let me just get into it real quick and i'll show you what i'm rocking with all right first things first uh let's go to the top right click on steam go to settings go to account over here to account details go to store preferences and when you look right here when you look right here these are the mature content filtering right most of these stuff you want to leave on if you want to play a certain type of games but if you're for a younger audience you might turn off certain stuff if you have uh this and this selected then you're not might when you try to search up a game to try to download it it won't show up in your catalog so you got to make sure most of these stuffs are selected if you want to try if you want to play every game that's available on steam when you scroll down all the way down to the bottom you will see uh broadcast preferences so you want to hide all live broadcasts on your store product i mean you don't have to you should select this because you don't need to see live broadcast when you're navigating around so this might give you some stuff that you're not trying to see all right so next you go back to steam again go to settings go to friends and chat then you should see enable animated avatar and animated avatar frames and friend list and chat turn it off you don't need that as i said before up to you, you could turn it off and on but i recommend you to turn it off after that you go to notifications here you can mess with like all uh, your friends notification everything to show you whenever they're online you can mess with this as well you can play with the sound if you want to hear a sound whenever they come online join the game scroll down a little bit you're going to see steam notification then right here where it says receive a friend invitation you click this arrow then you're going to see a little notification under that you could play with this as well so if you don't want to get notified about certain stuff about when your friends join and whenever they're yeah so if you don't want to get certain notification guys let's come in here and mess with these because this could mess with your immersion whenever you're playing your games most of these stuff you just turn off can you get a better experience and there's not a lot of stuff popping up on your screen to hinder your immersion while you're playing all right so next you go to interface scroll down a little bit right here it says client beta participation here you could choose to opt in or opt out in the beta whenever they release like a beta form for like steam or anything like that you could opt in opt out but keep in mind sometimes you might get a version that they trying to test and then it might be buggy so it's up to you if you want to do that next you see run when my computer starts you could turn this off and on i mean you don't have to have it on because not all the time when you turn your system on you might want to use steam you might be using a different client so it's up to you with, with this as well but i have this off because i'm not trying to have a pop-up because every time you have something start up whenever you're playing a game it kind of hinder your system a little bit with the boot time when you turn it on because it's trying to process everything when the system is boot up, booting up so you don't have to have this running you could just click it open it whenever you want whenever you turn the system on instead of having it popping up and taking up resources whenever you're booting up your system next is i recommend you to have steam startup in big picture mode instead of the regular mode because this is more like uh game friendly for us that's mainly just playing games on the system because it's more the interface is cleaner and it's smoother and easier to navigate when it is in big picture mode under that you see enable smooth scrolling for web view require start restart later turn it off enable gpu accelerated rendering for web view turn it off and then enable hardware video decoding turn it off you could turn these back on if you're having issues like if you're playing videos inside of steam i recommend you turn them, them back on but if it's just for if you're just using this just for gaming then you can leave these off guys because you don't really need them running our right, next go to library when you get here you want to enable low bandwidth mode low performance mode and disable community content all right so next you go to downloads when you come here download region you want to make sure this is set to the closest region where you're at because that's what give you the the best download speed under that you'll see limit download speeds so if you have a slower internet speed recommend you turn this on and use that schedule auto updates with this this is the good as again if your download speed and internet is kind of trash then i recommend you using this so you can schedule a download instead of your game updating while you're playing 
this right here is a good option to schedule it for a specific time when you're not using your system all right a lot of download drew and gameplay this you want to leave this off as well if steam is downloading and updating other games while you're playing any other game this will hinder your performance especially if your internet speed is slow and it's not fast enough it can't handle as much at the same time this right here is good to have as well so leave this off so that it doesn't download while you're playing games next is scroll down a little bit clear download cache this right here is good if you're having any issue with steam any kind of problem you think just come in here and clear the cache this will help or might maybe help depending on what the problem is but once you clear it, it will ask you to restart so this is always remember to keep this in the back of your head if you're having any issue with steam just come in here clear this clear the cache and then that should help you under that you see game file transfer of a local network so this is only good if you have uh, multiple devices that use using steam and you want to transfer like your games on the local network instead of you re-downloaded the game on the other device right so this is good it's faster if you have slow internet speed so you don't have to re-download the game directly from steam you could just transfer it between your devices so this is what this is for i have more than one device so i leave this on if you don't you could turn it off guys because if you only have one device that uses steam just keep this off you don't need to have it on scroll down to share the pre-caching you want to have both of these enabled also next you want to go to end game and here you'll see enable steam overlay you want to keep this off this will hinder your performance and might mess with your frame rate so i'll keep that off it's up to you though guys what it depends on what game you're playing like for high intensity multiplayer games you want to keep this off if you're playing like a regular game then you could keep it on but it might as i said hinder your performance and give you some input lag in-game fps comma is up to you if you want to use this as well if you're not using the built-in uh, FPS counter that's on the Legion Go, then you can keep this off. If you want to use this, then you can use it. It's up to you. Scroll down a little bit. You see delete web browser data. This, you could delete this now and then. Keep your cookies and all your cache and everything in your history clear. Keep your system running as smooth as possible, guys. Next is, uh, you go to voice here. If you're some reason you're not, your microphone or anything that you got plugged in or anything is not picking up, you go here, voice input. And you will select your microphone whatever you're using which one ever you're using and then you could select it from there so that your microphone would actually start working if you scroll down i mean all the other everything else is just like uh like the volume the gain and everything you can mess with that and then you could have voice transmission type you could do push to talk open mic uh push to mute all depends on what you like guys i like mine on open mic and then i can mute it off rip on the device itself or on my microphone it's up to you if you want to do push to talk all right next is is remote play if you're not remote playing from your device turn it off guys you don't need that scroll down to broadcast again if you're not broadcasting you could disable broadcast all depends on the type of person you are guys if you if you're a broadcaster then leave it on if not then disable it see so yeah, guys that's basically it um thanks to one in let me know if you have, if there's anything that I miss in the comment section down below, what you think I should turn off, turn on to make the experience any better. Uh, hit that like button if you like what I'm posting. Sub to the channel for more awesome content, guys. And remember to always say, guys, health is wealth. Peace and love. I'm out, guys. And also, thanks for tuning in, guys.